Oh, what's your name? Leon Postolo. Wait, I'm sorry, last name. A P O S T O L O. Tell me about last night. Well, I got a phone call this morning about one o'clock, and uh, and, and the uh, dispatcher told me that I had some damage done to my building, and so uh, so I came downtown and uh, officers were here and. And uh, when I got here, all the, my windows were knocked out. My barber pole was destroyed. Uh, my barber tools were out on the sidewalk. Pictures were thrown out there. And I mean, everything was just a total disarray. And uh, I was in shock when I seen it. The planter outside was broken to pieces. And I think they used the, the, the rock from the planter to knock the windows out of my barber shop. And, uh, but I'll tell you one thing, my hat's off for the Connell PD, what they did. I mean, they, man, they did more than arrest the guy. They, the gentleman went to Home Depot and talked to the people at Home Depot and they gave me some lumber and came back to the barber shop and he, he got his friend to help him measure the, the lumber, cut it up and screw it to the, to the windows to keep somebody coming in. These are the officers? Yes, sir, those Connell PD officers, yes, sir. Very, very, I mean, they went way behind the call of duty. I mean, they did more than they needed. I mean, they were extremely helpful. What about the suspect, the, the one, they, they got him into custody? Yes, sir, they had him in, in the patrol car. They sure did. When I got, when I got here, I, I asked them, did they catch the guy? They said, yes, he's in the back of the patrol car. And, and uh, I don't know what was going on, but the guy, he was doing something back then. The officer opened the door and said something to him that he needed to settle down or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Evidently, this guy had already tried to whip the officers. They had trouble getting handcuffs on them, so they had to do something. They had to take care of business. That's right. Sure okay. How long y'all been here? I've been in this shop 42 years. I started working here when I was 17 years old. And I've been here all these years. This is the first time I ever experienced anything like this happening to this barbershop. I hate it because this is my home. And uh, I just, I never thought I'd see the day we'd have something like this in Conroe. Did you, did you Larry? Nope. Never, never mind yeah, stream. I mean, I I think about this in the big cities, not, not Conroe, you know, not my home, you know. And this barbershop's been here over a hundred years, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it's been here 108 years, sure has. It's a historical site. It's got a historical mark on the front. Thanks to Larry right here, he's the man did, this man right here did the research. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, sir. He's the one that did the research and, and got the ball rolling for the market. Sure is. So now he's a historian. He loves history just like I do. We're not out to destroy it. We're trying to preserve it. We're fighting losing battle right now. Of course. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs>